Hey guys, I'm going to do a baby haul today, but it's going to be a little bit different than your normal type of baby haul where you kind of sit in the same place and show things because it's going to be a baby haul of all the like bigger baby items like cots and push chairs and that type of thing. And I thought I would film it because I haven't had a baby for three and a half years and there's so much new stuff out and so much to choose from and I personally find it all really overwhelming and it's just a minefield so I thought I would do a haul for those of you who might be pregnant or expecting a baby or thinking of having a baby or thinking of buying like a bigger gift for somebody um, and just to share with you what I have decided to pick this time and why and then hopefully in a few months time I might be able to like remember to revisit this and kind of do a little update of what was useful and what we didn't end up using and things like that. So because I am literally ready to pop now, like I could go any day, any time, I have put all of these items away in my house already. So they're all where they're gonna be when the baby actually arrives. So instead of sitting here on the sofa and showing them all to you in one room, which would have been probably the best, most practical thing to do. I'm going to have to take you on a little tour around the house to show you what I've picked and why. So I'm gonna start in here because, sorry if it's really echoey by the way, we have no like furniture right now because the big safe has been moved to the basement and so half the room is empty and it's really echoey. Anyway, so in here I have a little crib because I thought baby's going to need somewhere to sleep in here because this is going to be probably the main room that Grayson and I will use together in the winter. I was very kindly sent a, like a cradle I think it's called, from a stocker and it looks like this and I've decided just to put this one in the lounge just because I needed somewhere for the baby to sleep in the lounge and yeah, it looks like this. It's got a tiny little jelly cat bunny in it, which is actually Grayson's, which he has donated to the baby. But yeah, we picked this one just because it's really inoffensive and can go in any room in terms of like the decor. Um, and yeah, I just thought it would be useful to have somewhere in here that I can put the baby down and know that it's safe, know that it can sleep in there because our house is like over a lot of floors. So it was... I don't know, I just feel like it's going to be practical. Hopefully it is. <laughs> but anyway, right, the next thing, I have a list of things on my phone actually, I should probably bring that with me. This is like the weirdest vlog style haul ever. Okay, so I've got my list and the next thing I'm going to show you is actually upstairs in the baby's nursery, which I haven't quite finished yet, which I really should finish because the baby's like going to come out soon. <laughs> but um, anyway, I have the... The main cot is this one from Stocker again, and this is the same one that we had with Grayson, so we're reusing that one. And then I also have from Stocker the, I think that's how you say it, the high chair from Grayson as well, which we will also just be reusing. It's in really good condition still, and we actually only just stopped using the chair part of it as well. And then I've also chosen changing table which we didn't have last time and this is the stock one that goes with the other furniture um and yeah it's just it's pretty handy already i've got all of the baby's clothes in here like everything the baby is gonna have <sighs> stairs are a killer bouncer wise i have the same baby bloom bouncer that i used with grayson but i've just bought the um like a fresh newborn insert for it I haven't actually got it out yet, it's in this travel bag at the moment. Um, but yeah, I just bought a fresh insert for it because it was a little bit grubby. But I know there's like tons of fancy bouncers that like swing them and like play music and do all sorts, but that was fine for us last time. So I'm hoping we'll just be able to get away with you reusing it again. And also it's really non-ugly, so that helps. So this time I've decided to go with the snooze pod, which was recommended to me by many, many people, um, some of them mothers of like three children. So I decided to give it a go and it looks like this. Ooh, can you see it? <laughs> it's basically just like, it comes in other colors too, but it's just a little white crib. It's got mesh sides so you can see the baby when you're lying down and you don't have to get up. 
and it also rocks, has a, like a nice little rocking feature there which could be handy but you can also stop the rock and it attaches to your bed so you can co-sleep um, and it has also this little like um, attachment which you can get for the side where you can keep your like essentials like perhaps like wipes and nappies and vests and back cloths and things so you don't actually have to move very far from bed when you've got your newborn which is really handy and then there's some storage underneath here which I've just popped a changing mat under um, but I think I'll probably end up just sticking some like vests and things underneath there too and yeah I just thought that that would be really handy my sister actually borrowed my co-sleeper that I used with Grayson so I needed to get a new one anyway because that's in London and we weren't planning on a London trip anytime soon and then inside it I have just popped for now I don't know if we'll end up using it in here or like I don't really know um but I've just popped the sleepy head I can't remember what this is called everyone's got it everyone says is amazing like literally I had not known one mum who hasn't used that and recommended it like everyone goes on about how incredible it is so I got one of those and I'm hoping that that's gonna like make my baby sleep um, but I just thought that that would be really useful because obviously it is portable so you can pop it in any room I can put it in my pram I can put it in my bed if if we all want to take a nap together it's safe to do that and yeah I just I gave it to the hype basically so I'll let you know how that goes oh I also forgot to show you in the baby's room um, I got two carriers this time so I bought the ergo baby carrier mainly because um my friend sean swore by it and used it religiously and then my sister also used it right up until like a month ago and her baby's like a year and a half old and also my friend rom recommended it like everyone goes on about how good it is and grayson hated being in a sling but i'm hoping this one likes it because obviously when you're on your second you still have to go to like toddler groups and entertain your first child so i'm hoping this baby will like a carrier and this is the one i've gone for it's the ergo baby 360 which has been recommended to me again um it looks pretty easy to use i think you can put it on the front the side or the back and i also have I was very kindly gifted one from mountain buggy who i love <laughs> Um, and it is the Mountain Buggy Juno. So we will be trying out both of those. I tried so many carriers. Oh, there you are. I tried so many carriers with Grayson and he just didn't like them. So I thought it would be handy to have a couple in case the baby finds one comfier than the other. I'm just gonna get my phone. Otherwise I have to go up like a million stairs to get it again. Oh, also while I'm up here, I will show you which breast pump I've decided to try this time. I pumped a lot with Grayson because I had problems breastfeeding and I'm really hoping to breastfeed this time. So I've got the pump all set up and sterilized and ready to go. Um, and I've gone for the Medela, here it is, the Medela Swing Maxi this time. It's a double pump um, and all the other bits of it are downstairs because I've sterilized them. Um, but this was again recommended to me by I think three or four people and last time I breastfed with Grayson I ended up using a handheld pump because I didn't know I was going to end up pumping um, I didn't think that I was going to have all the issues that I did have so I only had a handheld pump and it took forever <laughs> and it squeaked as well so like I'd be up in bed at like three o'clock in the morning with no sleep going so I've decided to be prepared this time and get myself an electric pump because I just thought I would save myself time and when you are a new parent the gift of time is like the best gift ever. So I thought I would try that out and it comes with all the attachments so that you can, um, it like pumps straight into a bottle or straight into a bag if you want to freeze it but then you can use the bottle to feed your baby as well um, and it like mimics breastfeeding so the baby doesn't get confused or if you decide to bottle feed it's supposed to just be like a, a better type of bottle I, I guess <laughs> um so yeah that's the pump that I have chosen and also it does both boobs at the same time so I'm pretty happy about that anyway now I'm going to take you back downstairs and show you the buggies <sighs> 
Okay, so we've gone for two buggies this time, which probably sounds a little bit ridiculous, but I'm using the mountain buggy, and Steph's using the mountain buggy, quite a lot with Grayson at the moment. So this is the mountain buggy that we have. It's the terrain one. Um, and it's really good for the cobbles, but because we've been doing things like going to festivals and going for like long country walks and stuff, the wheels are like, insanely insanely good and it's just like a really smooth ride and Grayson's got loads of room and we just love it and so I've got the newborn like it's like a little carry thing that just kind of slots in when you recline the seat um so my plan is that Grayson can still get in it if he wanted to because I would have a baby sling underneath um so either baby can use it or Grayson can use it and also, this is really genius, they have a buggy board, which we have, but it's not just any old buggy board, it is like a little scooter that attaches to it. So it's a little bit of like a bigger scooter, if that makes sense. It's still in the box downstairs, we haven't showed Grayson yet because it's going to be like his present from the baby. So that attaches on as a buggy board, so Grayson can ride on, an, on the buggy and then go off on his scooter. So we've got that one. Um, also, this is going to be so dark, sorry. That buggy will also be amazing for like ski trips and holidays and things just because you can fit loads in it and it's just like a really robust sturdy buggy um, and Steph loves using it too which makes things easy because he likes pushing it. And then, sorry it's really echoey in here as well, I have got a new bugaboo which I'm really excited about, I love this pram. Um, so I've been using, with Grayson, I have used for the last god it must be like two and a half years or something i've used the bugaboo b3 and it was amazing for the city but not so amazing for cobbles in bath where we live now so i have decided to switch over to the bugaboo chameleon 3 and i've got it in navy and it looks like this oh <laughs> i've tripped over there looks like this and it's got the bigger wheels and the smaller wheels and you can kind of move this bar over to the other side so that either set of wheels go at the front and i've got this for and we've got this basically for more kind of day-to-day -day type things just like going into town and going to food shopping and visiting friends and stuff um just because it's a bit smaller and easier for me to like take apart and put in my car and stuff um and yeah i just chose this one because i felt like i really got on with my other bugaboo and i just find it like a good reliable brand and to be honest i didn't even go into any shops and like buggy peruse or like buggy shop as such because i knew already that i would love it and when it arrived i was just like pushing it around the house <laughs> like a little girl at christmas um, so yeah, that's that and then we've got two car seats again, which I know is a bit ridiculous But one is to go on the mountain buggy, which is this one Sorry about Sorry about all the um, oh god focus Sorry about all the mess um, It's by the front door like raring to go <laughs> um, But yeah, this is the mountain buggy one which goes on to the mountain buggy obviously it looks very cozy for a new baby and then I also got the Maxi Cozy to go on the Bugaboo and probably this will go in my car because Steph's borrowing a car at the moment. So I think the mountain buggy and all the big stuff will go in his car and then the more like smaller compact stuff will go in my car. I chose the Maxi Cozy chair this time because when I had Grayson I had the Stocker car seat and I just felt like he always looked a bit squashed up in it. So, and I'd used, my friend Lucy had the Maxi Cozy when the boys were little and I remember using it when I was at her house a couple of times and it was just so much like easier and there was more space and yeah, I just liked it a lot. So I decided to get one of those this time. But yeah, I think that is actually it for all the big stuff. Um, so it's all kind of like in the house where it should be. I guess I could show you my birth pool as well. I don't know if that would be useful to anyone. <laughs> um, but I'll show you anyway. It's in the basement because that is where I plan on giving birth. 
we still need to do a little bit of organising down here. This is the hose, by the way, going up the stairs to fill it up. Um, and it is all set up. And that is what it looks like. <laughs> so that's my birth pool all ready to go. And I'll turn the light on. We just need to... Um, get a table and chair set up for the midwives with like snacks and things on it and bring my hospital bags down here with all the like baby supplies and my supplies and then I've got a box here that is just full of um I've got some like uh puppy pads <laughs> I've got a shower curtain I've got a big like plastic sheeting thing for the floor to cover up the rugs um we've got some hose attachments we have torch and a sieve and a mirror and some bin liners and some towels so we are all ready to go <sighs> it's all getting very real now oh and i rented this pool from a company called birth pool in a box by the way in case you are planning on a home birth or looking into it they basically do everything in a box and deliver it to your house um so you don't have to do anything which is amazing and it's even got a cup holder on the side which is pretty cool <laughs> but yeah this is where it's gonna happen hopefully <laughs> anyway i hope you guys liked this random like baby apparatus vlogging weird haul and i will see you guys all in my next video goodbye <laughs>